Welcome at e 3 Designs. Hello guys, welcome back at the paint booth. I have a new project, the Canada Sculpture, and what the owner of this frame wants me to do is a simple German World Cup design. I have to paint this frame black with a German flag on the top tube and the Canada logos in two different colors. If you want to do something similar, you can easily follow my painting steps and I will show you also some of my painting tricks. First thing I have to do is I have to sand down the frame to remove the old green color and the logos and then I can prime the frame and start with the painting process. Let's start removing the logos. First painting trick, there are a lot of differences in the bike graphics and in the bike painting. Some areas are direct painted on the frame, some are transferred like these silver lines and in some cases you have a kind of decal foil. And if you use a sanding machine, a sander, it's a mess to remove these logos. Your sanding paper gets very sticky. This is from a former job. And as you can see, there are a lot of areas where the sanding paper won't work. And these are parts of such a, such a decal foil. And there's an easy way to remove this foil. You can use a sharp knife, a sharp blade in a low angle and you can peel off and scratch off these logos. And after you have scratched off this foil, you can use your sanding machine to sand down the green color and it's easy to sand the green color without this decal foil. A big step happened during the last two days. I primed the frame and painted it in gloss black. And what I'm doing now is sanding the complete frame with a grid of 600 to prepare for the custom painting. Let's start with the custom painting. The frame is ready sanded and prepared. And as you can see, I masked an area on the top tube with a special masking tape, a masking foil. And I masked also the frame with a masking paper to protect the black areas. And now I will use a spray gun with a nozzle of 0.4. It's more like an airbrush. And you can lay down a very fine layer of color. I will use a white as a base coat for the German flag. I will show you another painting tip. As you can see, I applied only a very thin first layer of white color. You can see the black through this white. And the reason why I applied only such a thin layer is if you apply a too thick first coat, the color will creep under the masking tape and you won't get a sharp edge. So I apply only this thin layer, then I wait 10, 10 minutes. And after the first layer is dry enough, I can apply a second layer of white base coat. As you can see, I'm currently painting the head tube badge in the same way I have painted the logos and the top tube stripe. And if you want to know how I create the cycle logos, please check out also my other videos to see how to create these bicycle logos.
not ready painted, there is no German flag on the top tube. And maybe you wonder why I spray a clear coat over the frame and it's not ready painted. But I'd like to show you in the next step why I do some kind of intercoat over these logos. During spraying I have to turn on the cabin and I have to wear also a spray mask. So I can show you only some shots, then I have to remove the camera because there's a lot of overspray here in the cabin and this will leave a fog on the camera lens and I don't like to ruin this camera. Let's start clear coating. before I finished my custom painting project and now I want to show you the reason for this clear coat. As I mentioned before, the first layer was a black primer with a black two component base coat and over this base coat I laid only one layer of graphics. The white graphic on the top tube and also the white logos and the golden logo on the down tube. And the reason for only laying one layer of logos is a gap in between these white layers and the black base coat. And to close this gap I use my clear coat. I prepared a graphic and in this graphic you can see the gap in between the logo layers and the black base coat. It's only some micrometers, maybe 15 to 20 micrometers, but to close this gap I use the clear coat. What I have to do now is send down the complete frame so I can close this gap and then I can start spraying the German flag on the top tube. I masked the areas with the German flag. I masked only a stripe in the middle, the red stripe, and the outlines around my flag. And first step is the black side of the German flag, then I will paint the gold side, remove the stripe in the middle, and then I can paint the red area. To paint the German flag, I use a smaller airbrush. It's the same 0.4 nozzle as you have seen in my bigger gun where I've painted the white areas but this gun has a smaller cup and to paint only these small areas I don't need so much color so I will use this smaller cup. To paint these areas I use a custom painting color, a water-based color, a black and also a nice gold from Audi. And before I can start spraying, I have to mask the areas around my German flag to avoid overspray. And when I have masked all these areas, I will show you some of the painting steps. on the red area and let's see if I've done my job right if I get sharp edges after I have removed this masking stripe it looks very good so I can apply the red stripe and then I'm ready for the last layer of the clear coat to seal my custom painting. Also the 
German flag on the top tube and to get a shiny and durable surface on the screen, I have to apply another layer of my two component clear code system. As you have seen before, I can show you only some shots of the clear code, then I have to remove the camera. But when this frame is finished, I will show you some pics of the custom painting and of the ready painted frame.